Hi and welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's been a very, very long time and you guys have been requesting this so I figure let's just get to it. I'm going to show you a couple ways how to remove your uh, press on nails, kiss nails, any of those uh, nails that just with a little bit of glue and it sits on. The fastest way to remove it, people probably recommend for you to put it in acetone which is nail polish remover. And all you're gonna do is put um, it in a bowl or in a cup that you have at home. And then you're just gonna stick your finger in there. This, uh, this way does take some time. You have to be very patient. It smells horrible and you have to wait. And sometimes I don't have time for that. But pretty much you're just gonna let it sit in there and the acetone's gonna go in and kind of just lightly pop it off. The bad thing about this is if you ever need to reuse that nail, it's never gonna work again because the acetone made the top of your nails all sticky. Just think of like nail polish remover, if you have it on your polish, it's always gonna remove it off a, um, a little bit, even if it touches the top of it. So just like that, after a couple minutes, you'll notice that it's a little bit softer, and then you could just use your nails and just pop it right off. Just like that. Now I go slow to show it to you on the video. I and mean, then you'll see it lifting just like that. See, I normally would do it super fast, but for this situation, I'm just gonna go very slow and just show you. And it'll start lifting it up like that. And you're just gonna lightly with pressure and your thumb, go slowly and it'll just come right off. And that's what it looks like. So a lot of people will say, wow, if you were press on nail, it's gonna damage your nails. Anything that you're gonna put on top of your nail and it's not getting air flow, it's gonna do a little bit of damage. But with press on nail is not intense as acrylic nail and that's why I like this better. And if you're worried about how it looks once your nails is off, all you're gonna need is a nail clipper. You're just gonna lightly trim it. And then have a filer because the, there will be a little bit of some glue access and then you're just gonna buff it right off. Don't go fast. If, if you're new to it and you haven't done it before, just go very slow and then you'll see that it, the glue will just come right off. Especially if you put your hand in acetone, it's already gotten underneath there to help remove a little bit of it. And use your natural thumb or your nails and you'll see that it'll come right off. And then you could get a buffer like this, a three-way buffer or sometimes there's four of them. And use the soft side and you can actually polish it back and get anything else that's kind of still stuck in there off your nail bed. So just like that, all the glue came off. Now what I normally would do after this to hydrate my nails, I let it breathe. I'll put a little bit of cuticle oil on it and then I'm just gonna put a top coat and I'll let it breathe for a couple of days before I put another set on. Now the way that I've been doing it now is just old fashioned. Because my nails, I've had these on for three weeks by the way, about three and a half weeks um, in two days. And I already know that the corners are already starting to lift a little bit because when you're washing your hair, when you're washing your hand, it's just water has gotten underneath there a little bit. Most of the time you could test it by just lightly lifting your nail right around the cuticle and it should just come right off. Just like that. And then I just use my other finger to lightly pull it off. And again, you'll see a little bit of the glue you're just gonna do the same routine, buff it out, put some cuticle oil and some top coat, and your nail's ready to go. So I'm just gonna show it one more time because I know a lot of people get freaked out. Is it gonna damage my nail? Is it gonna rip my entire nail off? That's not gonna happen if you've already been wearing these for a week or so. If you just put it on that morning and you wanna take it off that evening, it's gonna hurt because the glue is so bonded onto your nails. My nails have been in water and soap for two to three weeks now, so they had time to like absorb some moisture. So anytime you're nervous, pinch on the bottom, just lightly pinch and you'll see it lifting up on top. Pinch on the bottom and you'll see it lifting. And there's your opening. And then I just use my thumb and then I just wiggle it a little bit on each side and it should come off naturally just like that. Really easy and simple, just like you see. A lot of the time people just get worried that their whole nail is gonna come off with it. That's not the case unless you glue it that morning and you're removing it an hour later. So as you can see, it's very really easy and simple to do. I recommend to try just 
pinching on your nails a little bit, seeing if it's lifting, and if so, just remove it with your finger because when you dip your hand in acetone, that's just a lot of chemical absorbing into your body that's not needed. But if you're really scared, try that way first and then go to uh, the second step and that might help you guys out. I hope this video was informative and if you have any questions, please comment down below and until next time, I'll see you guys later, bye.